Hello there everyone and welcome back to Flash Fridays. Everyone really liked the last part. I had a lot of people, I think I hit like a nerve of of nostalgia amongst people where a lot of people seemed happy that I'm doing this and I am as well. Today's Flash game is Sonic Boom Cannon. Not to be confused with the Sonic Boom Cannon, which is the canonicity of materials in the Sonic Boom universe. No, Sonic Boom Cannon, as in with two N's um, on the cannon, not the Sonic, because that'd be a terrible misspelling. This game was recommended to me by none other than Jono of our own staff. Um, he was, he, this was the first one. He actually told me to do this one multiple times, and then he linked it to me. And I played it, and I think I played it for about an hour before realizing I have essays to work on. So, uh, Zen32 says, I make Flash for me, and my short attention span, I release them to the public in hopes that they get a kick out of them. Thanks, Zen32. So, this is one of those launch games, and if you're a fan of Flash games, you know exactly what I'm talking about when I say something is a, f is a launch game. Um, there are many games in this genre, most of which you can spend hours on. Sadly, this one not so much. This one is a bit shorter, uh, but it is still a fun experience. There's also a lot of logos to begin with. Quite a number that I don't even recognize. Who, who is this? Do I care? For something that was released for, for someone who just made themselves on their own spare time for fun, seems like there's a lot of... Corporate stuff. Powered by Eggbeat? Okay. Let's go with a new game. So, here's the basic rules. You, kick, yeah, you click a silhouette to buy a character, then you choose a location, then you click the character to proceed. Use up and down arrows to adjust the angle, use left and right to adjust the power, and space bar to shoot. So, let's start off with Green Hill Zone, and as we only have 50 rings to start off with, so let's grab Sonic as a nice starting zone. And we have three songs to choose from. We have uh, Sonic Boom. We have this one, which I don't necessarily recognize. And we have, um... Oh, what's this one called? The ending boss theme for Sonic Heroes that everyone loves, but I think is incredibly overrated. Uh, we're gonna say no music, and I'll put in my own music. Why? <laughs> Copyrights. So, let's get started with Sonic Boom Cannon. So let's pick an angle, let's go with a nice 45 degrees, and we're gonna go max power, why not? We launch Sonic and he goes and try and collect rings, we got one ring total. That's about it. You wanna keep going, and keep getting more and more rings. Uh, you can get lucky, and if you hit, say, a spring, or if you hit a bounce ring thing, you can go far, like... See, we got boosted a little bit farther because we hit that spring. And you might be saying, well, this looks boring because it looks like it's entirely luck-based. Yes, yes it is. But I do believe that this one actually does something really good where... Even if you get, like, nothing. Like, if you see, we only got, like, one ring. But we actually got 19 for just getting the distance. So you can actually build up rings very quickly. Uh, so I want to get at least kind of far or something good. I totally hit that spring and it didn't register. It's a little sad. Let's go back to the menu. We have 104. Let's pick up Amy, why not? And we'll go to this stage here. What a beautiful background this is. Yep, nothing wrong there. Totally not a stretched pattern that looks pretty bad. I don't know if you're supposed to hit the, the fans or not, because they don't do much. Sometimes it looks like it hurts the person you're launching, but sometimes it does good. This is the best item, the ring shield, because it does exactly that. It keeps giving you rings. As you can see, we've drawn in a lot. We got 15 rings. That's really good. Let's go one more time. I really want to get some super crazy boost thing, which I'm not getting anything. There's also Chaos Emeralds. Which, uh, you can also buy for 200 rings each. But, for now, let's keep buying the characters. We're going to be Shadow, and we're going to the Moon! Because, you know, when you think Sonic, you think of fighting on the Moon. Not, you know, Green Hill. 
Eggman base now the moon so yes shadow here I think some of them do have slightly altered physics I can't tell the difference between you know shadow and Sonic and Amy but definitely a few later on we'll definitely have slightly modified physics and it's a fun this is just a fun little distraction apparently through googling however there is also a Sonic Boom Cannon 2 and a Sonic Boom Cannon 3D so that's pretty good uh, let's head to Ice World and we'll pick up Tails, why not? Because everyone loves Tails. Is that a ceiling? Is that an actual something up there? Nope, that's just part of the background. Nice. Obviously, you don't want to hit spiked balls in midair because that destroys your momentum. I think there are two modes. There's like when you're in a ball and when you're damaged. And when you're damaged, you have very little uh, momentum. Like as you see here, we got hit. And for, for some reason, other characters, they can go over that fine, but we're, our momentum kind of got killed when we hit it, so you don't want to do that. Let's do one more with Tails here. I really want to just get some nice super boost like that. Oh, that's good. Really, you only have to hit one thing, then you, you start booking it, and then it's just a lucky chain of events after that. See, like that. Boom! We're getting far. Sort of. Kind of. Oh, oh, oh! We didn't hit the egg bomb thing. Uh, we'll pick up Rouge now. I mean, I do that all the time. Go downtown, pick up Rouge. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's weird. Um, Rouge doesn't turn into a ball because yeah, she has turned into a ball before though for for Sonic Media. It's like white and purple. I'm pretty sure the sprite is from Sonic Battle, and she does it in that. I'm fairly certain. And, oh, that totally should have hit, but it didn't, and that didn't hurt us. I'll take it. I mean, whatevs. Here we got Cream. Now, that's that's all the levels. We're going to go back to the beginning. Cream does turn into a ball from her, her time in Sonic Advance 2. So, yes, this is, this is Sonic Boom Cannon. It's... And you might be wondering, it's like, wow, you spent an hour on this? Well, you'll see, though, that once we unlock all the characters, then we're given a specific task, which requires us to play quite a bit. Let's go back one more time. Let's pick up, uh, Knock Knock, it's Knuckles. Back in, in Fire World. With sprites ripped from, fittingly, Sonic 3 and yeah. Knuckles. We got a nice bounce there. Let's do this. Get a bunch of, oh, no, we died. Did he switch back to his classic sprite, or was it always his classic sprite? It's always his classic sprite. I don't like when they mix classic and advanced sprites. I think if you're going to make a fan game, you should really pick one. Like, it doesn't... The other ones don't really work that well, I think. Like, they are totally different. Uh, speaking of, though, we got Metal Sonic, everyone's favorite Sonic. In fact, he's he, he's quite the popular character. A lot of requests for him and everything. And I think Metal Sonic is heavier. If you see, when you when you do it as him, he is a bit slower and a bit heavier. He makes louder noises when he hits. Therefore, he is terrible. Just like Silver Sonic here, who I admit looks pretty cool being a giant, you know, floating death ball. Who for some re reason uses Gamma's sound quotes. Yeah, it's a little strange. Strange choice. I'm okay with it. I think that's actually a voice that fits him a lot. And if he were to be brought back for any Sonic thing, wouldn't mind that being his voice. But uh, yeah, no, he's pretty terrible. Mm -hmm. You can see, we totally even missed that spring. So, you might be saying, out of all these characters, which is the best then? Chow. <laughs> You're thinking, what? A chow? And look how tiny he is! Check this out. Look at that air. Look at this bounce. Look at this. Chow is without a doubt the best character because he is light, he is fast, and though he's small, he's potent. So as you see, we got a Chaos Emerald, and from this point we just want to buy all the Chaos Emeralds to get to the end. We do that by just playing with Chow, because he is the best. He also, you didn't see last time, but he has the weirdest win pose. Like, it makes sense, but at the same time, it's just a strange choice. 
we can get it right here. He turns into an egg, which means he's either evolving or dying or reincarnating, which is still basically dying, but you get him back to being a baby. Have I ever mentioned how much I love Chow? I think that's something that is a very, like, it's a point of contention within the Sonic fanboy uh, fan base, where some people think, you know, the Chow are the best thing, some people hate the Chow. Um, I definitely got addicted to Chow, hence why I do love Sonic Adventure 2, uh, unlike some people who think it's one of the worst Sonic games. You know, I got addicted to Chow for sure. Sounds like a drug, because it is. It's basically a drug, really. So, as you can see, it's 200 rings per Chaos Emerald, and even though we got another one, still need to get it. Oh my god, we sniped that one. Uh, you still gotta get them all, and once you do, oh my god, what is this amazing- Oh! If we got that one, I would, I would go and buy a lottery ticket, because that was L-U-C-K-Y. So we got, uh, almost all of them. We only need one more. So let's head to the moon, because it's, like, climactic and stuff, bruh. We can also hit random, I guess. Random is kind of fun, because you get a, well, random character. That's always fun. Nice little boost there. There's that last Chaos Emerald we need. That damn last... Oh my god, we did it! What is this luck? It actually took me so long when I was playing this initially, because I didn't have them all. We got them all. So let's go fight the boss. And I'm putting the music back on now, because why not? It fits. And we have to hit him. And I have no idea how to. Like, honestly, what am I doing? Like, am I, where am I supposed to hit? I just... What? No, I got him there. Didn't get him there. Didn't get him there. Didn't get him... No. Let's try going in from the top. There we go. That worked that time. Like, I, I don't get this boss fight. Which... Like, this is it. I think you do this about 12 times or something? Nope, not even. We did it! We beat the game! This game had beta testers! That was my job at Bioware and it was awesome! Thank you for playing! That's it! That is Sonic Boom Cannon. Will we look at the other two Sonic Boom Cannons in the future? We shall see! But that's the original. That is the first Sonic Boom Cannon a true masterpiece to some, I think it's just okay. <laughs> Thank you all for watching this is terrible Sonic Flash Friday whatever thing. We'll see you all next time, and remember, leave comments on what games you want me to play. We'll see you next time. Ciao.